day two here in Cuba. First time looking at their breakfast menu. Let's see what they got. Hi. Carol says hi. We've got yogurt, fruit. Leche, chocolate milk. We got cereals. We got jam. Just jam. Don't know what kind. No. It looks like mango. Looks like we got all these juices over here. Fresh fruit everywhere. This mango. Lots of cool juices there. More fruit. Another little fruit bar here. Let's go see what they got over here. And the same meat platter as lunch and dinner. Very similar. I don't know what that is. And the same cheese platters. Two different kinds of meat today. Blood sauces. Hot dogs. Hot dogs. Of course, eggs. You can have hard boiled, I mean, yeah, hard boiled eggs, scrambled omelets. Yeah. Have corn, I don't know if it's corn or. Oh, we got an omelet bar over here. Omelets. More sausage. Oh, donuts. We got pork. And then pancakes. I'm gonna go for omelets though. Oh, they got pre-made pancakes. Nice. Bacon. And hot dogs. <laughs> got my omelet. I'm not sure what. I just pretty much want an omelet. <laughs> That's all I want. Maybe some fruit. We'll try some fruit. All the lineups are gone all of a sudden. It's like nobody's here. Carol's like, you're not going to get bacon? I'm like, oh yeah. Just got a good beat. So the final thing I got, uh, ham, mushroom, omelet, bacon, and a couple slices of fresh uh, pineapple. And Carol went with a pancake kind of thing. It's, it's more like a crepe. It's a crepe, yeah. And then just regular scrambled, oh, just like an omelet with nothing in it. No cheese, obviously, and then some scrambled eggs. And a donut, some bacon. Nice. We brought our own peanut butter. One of the couple of things people told us to bring. Bring your own peanut butter because there's not peanut butter here if you like peanut butter. And ketchup. So this is a great idea. Bring your own little packages of ketchup. If you bring like a bottle or whatever and you put it on your table, people are like, oh, ketchup, can I borrow it? And then you're out of ketchup. So let's bring the little packages from McDonald's or whatever. Little tips here that we're learning. One of my favorite things about this hotel is these little islands they have. There's a couple over there, but then there's one right here. It's just a little moat around a little island of couches on this cool roof, or protected by this cool roof from sun or rain. Apparently we're entering the rain season, but we haven't seen any rain. Well, a little bit yesterday, but we tiny sprinkling. Really want to. We don't want to see any rain. If it happens, then it would happen at night. It's supposed to. Yeah, that would be a good, a good spot to be. These guys would have somewhat of a view of the ocean I would imagine so the ocean's there but there's just all these sh shrubbery trees bushes in the way and apparently they built these up raised walkways to protect the sand dunes kind of like in Florida we're gonna go snorkeling my brand new snorkeling mask I'm gonna give it a shot there's an interesting bird up there if you're from Cuba name that bird 
just because you live here you might not know <laughs> but there might be one one Cuban who watches the videos who knows what kind of bird that is leave a comment in the comment section below let's get some underwater footage for you I know, but it's the one, it's the highest. There's people out there, lots of people. It's stuck. Wow, it's, it's, it's on a rotating. Wow, there's no beach. We still haven't figured out. We've only been here a day, but <laughs> now that we've come down here at this time, you know what? By the time we got to the beach, it was like in the afternoon. Yeah, so in the morning, maybe it's always up this high. Wow. And then as the day progresses, all right, let's get some snorkeling in. We discovered nothing. If you want to snorkel, I guess you have to go ask the locals where the best place to snorkel is. But out here, it's just sand, and uh, there's like seaweed, but there's like one or two strands every once in a while. So it's not like the stuff that we saw in Punta Cana, which I'm allergic to apparently. It gave me a rash. Nasty stuff. This is a nice, clean beach, but there's nothing to see if you want to bring your snorkel mask. I thought we'd kind of hang out in this area. This is the adult side of the uh, resort. And there's a swim up bar. And then right behind the bar, there's a place that we're going to eat for lunch. And so let's go for a swim. Ready? Swim and drink. So Carol, <laughs> what? how drunk are you? Just a little bit. <laughs> it is eight o'clock in the morning. Honey. It is not. It's one something. Okay, it's one after eight. It's not. It's not one after eight. Like my new purse. That is a nice purse. Isn't that cute? Pretty and pink. It's Miss Piggy. Is it really? Yes. I thought it was Kermit. It's Kermit would be green. <laughs> So I ordered a, a pizza that's very olive flavored, a little bit burnt, that is almost charcoal. This was actually had the quotations poutine. <laughs> no cheese, no gravy. That's what they called poutine. I don't know why. But they, it seems that they do have ketchup here. And it's not bad. I'm not sure if you can order have that at any restaurant anytime. You didn't see the breakfast? Did you see a dinner? I wasn't looking at dinner. She wasn't looking at dinner. So they do have ketchup here. So while the rumors that we've heard that they don't have ketchup, bring your own. No, no. This is that the rumor is not that they don't have it, it's that this is different. It's more like tomato paste. Right. And it's totally fine. Don't bring your own ketchup. That's fine. Don't be that weird person at the table bringing your own ketchup like us. Because it's ketchup. It's totally fine. All right, we are done lunch. And again, it's this little pizza place right behind the main bar in the adult area. And unless you really, really, really like olives and burnt pizza, that's the place to go. Other than that, I wouldn't order that again. And you just had like a cheese and... It was called a croque monsieur, but it's basically just a ham and cheese. But was it good? Grilled with some 
But was it bad? Well, the cheese, because I'd keep it. But was it bad? No. So that's what I'd have next time. And the wind's killing me. I just know it. And the fact that they put the word poutine beside their french fries, it's not poutine. It is 6.43. In the afternoon, it's a windy, day. windy day. Good thing I'm not wearing a dress. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> For tonight, out of the three choices that we get, we chose sushi on Sunday night, which is Sunday night tonight. So we're making our way over to Building 17A. Apparently, there's more than one 17 building, and that do. Define it by letters. Let's keep walking then. Obviously, I've had a couple beers and some rum. <laughs> mm. All right, we're at the sushi place. Not a whole lot of people here right now. Carol got that miso. Is it good? To be honest, we're not no, like. Not really. Not really, not as good as J and Y. The J and Y miso is better. So, and I ordered the starter. That was a starter. This is a sushi starter. And then I ordered like a sushi platter thingy, I guess. I'm not I sure. I just, I just pointed to something on the menu. It's just like, oh, very good. <laughs> but uh, apparently a few of these places, just to give you guys a heads up, a few of these places you're not allowed in here without pants. So you can't come in with shorts and a tank top, but there's a guy over here to my left, to your right, that's wearing a tank top. So he's got to wear it. I came in with shorts, they let me in, and I think because it's an off season or a down season or whatever, and uh, so they are letting pretty much, as long as you're somewhat dressed up, then I think they allow you to come in and eat because they need the business. They got all this food that they probably ordered and they got to get people like me to eat it all. And I'm here for them. I'll back them up. Well, I still don't know how to pronounce the... I... Ban... Uh, I ban or I bono or something. Anyway, that's the place that we ate at. Uh, what did you think? Would you eat there again? No. No. If, if, if it wasn't for the big heap of rice they gave us in the middle between us, when they gave us the food, it was just not a whole lot of food, which is fine because the rice yeah. totally f split I'm between full. us. Yeah, I'm full too. So nothing really to complain about, except... It was indistinguishable food. Like I saw green beans, Corn niblets. Yeah, corn, corn in our sushi food. Yeah. Our oriental. And like chicken. Corn's not really a thing. The dessert they gave you was just like a mash it was, of yeah, fruit salad. Fruit salad, and some of the fruit that was in that wasn't very nice. So. Well, for me. It for you. Very nice, but yeah. Other people, other people might love that. Like the fruit stuff that I don't. Again, if you've been here and you've had, you know what we're talking about, please leave a comment whether you liked it or not. And let other people know that it was amazing or not amazing. Anyway, so we're just going to look at the maybe sunset if we can get there in time. Mm -hmm. 